Happy New Year, everybody. It's your do-it girl, Jamie. So a few of my New Year's resolutions are to eat organic and to stay in shape. No time like the present. Most importantly, my biggest priority is to get my DIY schedule organized. So I'm going to teach you how to keep your ducks in a row with my homemade magnetic calendar. Let's do it, girl. In order to make your calendar from scratch, you're going to need a cutting knife and mat, ruler, picture frame, permanent marker, and printable magnetic sheets, which I found at an office supply store for less than $5. For those who just want to stick to decorating, you can totally skip this part by going to an antique store and finding a big silver platter. Or you can go to an office supply store and buy a pre-made magnetic calendar too. Either way, for decorating, you're going to need chipboard, assorted paints and paintbrush, scissors, designer paper, magnets, adhesive numbers and letters, clear flat bottom glass marbles, bottle caps, and a variety of glues depending on what type of crafts you're going to be working with. I'm going to be using craft glue and super glue, but you might need hot glue or Mod Podge as well. Once you see my final calendar design, use your own personal style to think of whatever decorations you like. All right, it's crafting time. Step one, take your magnet sheet and make sure it fits nicely into your frame. Since my frame is eight by 10, I'll be resizing my eight and a half by 11 sheet using my ruler, cutting mat, and cutting knife. I already love the way that mine looks, but feel free to paint the frame or the top of your magnet sheet in order to coordinate with the colors in your room. Once you like your calendar style, create boxes for the days of the week. Now there are several ways that you can do this. The first is that you can print out a calendar template onto your magnetic sheets, or you can use skinny artist tape, or if you wanna follow along with me, I'll just be using a plain permanent Sharpie marker. I chose the color orange so it will match with my frame. Use your ruler to keep your lines straight and even. My box sizes ended up being one and one fourth inches wide as well as tall. We now have our own homemade magnetic calendar. Pretty sweet girls, pretty sweet. Step two. The next step is to turn your decorations into days of the week. If you have the flat bottomed glass marbles, simply attach their bums to a cutout piece of your designer paper by using a glue that dries clear. If you've got bottle caps, you can paint them or glue on designer paper to either side of the cap. If you have chipboard, cut it out into fun shapes and paint them or add your designer paper. Okay, so do you see the pattern here? Either paint everything or cover it in designer paper. Super fun and super easy. Once you have 31 awesome looking days of the week, go ahead and add your adhesive numbers on top. Get funky here. I'm using one package for all of my numbers, but you can cut out more of your designer paper or buy different sizes and colors. Or you can change the way you see the numbers entirely, like putting them on the bottom of your glass marbles. Step four, create your month by covering your chipboard in paint or designer paper, and then add on adhesive letters. It would be fun to use foam here too, or finding 3D adhesive letters to really make the month stand out. I'll just use my same package of letters for a simpler look. The last step is to attach magnets to your days and months. Since I have extra magnetic paper, I'm going to attach it with craft glue. If you want to stay away from glue altogether, another option is just to buy adhesive magnets. And there we go, your homemade magnetic calendar. As I've mentioned throughout this tutorial, there are a bajillion ways to do this. And as you can see, my calendar is just big enough to only have one month at a time. If you create a bigger calendar, like 12 inches by 12 inches, then you can have some extra space on the side in order to switch out your labeled months. Or you can just decorate bottle caps and then put them on your fridge. Or you can change your calendar theme every single month with different magnets. It's completely up to you. Whew. After all those recommendations, you've gotta tell me what type of calendar you made. Tweet me at Jamie Petito or tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Your New Year's resolution whew, should be to watch more girl videos by subscribing to our channel. Just right up there. Please subscribe, I'm getting tired. One. Ah, 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 ah. What is that from? Twilight? That's the count. From Twilight. <laughs> from Twilight. Is that a wrap? That's a wrap, yo. That's a wrap, yo. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a free form wrap. That's a free form wrap. That's a free form wrap. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> Maybe I should do this over the course of several months. <laughs> You're choking. <laughs>